we have very strongly condemned Hamas uh, and the terrorist acts uh, of Hamas, uh, and we support Israel uh, in fighting against this terrorist organization. Um, uh, but uh, as I said, uh, we are very clear on that. Uh, today we are meeting uh, to talk about uh, the war in Ukraine. Uh, but that does not mean that we turn a blind eye on other parts in the world where terrible things happen and that also need uh, support. Well, well, certainly we are concerned about the, the, the attack that occurred in Israel, but it appears to have been an incursion of, of a terrorist organization that's gone in and, and killed innocent uh, people and children. And, 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 of course, Israel has every right to defend itself. Um, and in that regard, it is somewhat similar to the situation um, in Ukraine, but they're not the same. The, the, Ukraine has been invaded uh, by a, a, a foreign country, and the, the illegal invasion by Russia of, of the Ukraine um, is, is a, 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 a very serious conflict, and, and we are engaged in uh, providing them with as much assistance as they require. We, we have to have the bandwidth of handling several crises at the same time. I expect to con the, that the support for Ukraine will continue for as long as it takes. I, I know other countries are going to make more announcements and commitments as, as well. So I rest assured we can both, both handle having a dialogue which we are looking forward with Israel at the same time also uh, sustaining our, and increasing our support for Ukraine.